Though there are several aspects of the movie that disturb me, one of the treasures I found in Mel Gibson's The Passion of Christ is how darkness pervades the first third of the film. He captures the mood, but not only the mood, he captures the reign of darkness on that Friday. The account of the crucifixion in the Gospel of Luke begins and ends with darkness. As the temple guards, elders, and chief priests arrest Jesus in the garden, Jesus announces, This is your hour when darkness reigns. Darkness reigned until Jesus breathed his last breath, and Jesus died in darkness as God blocked out the sun. Good Friday was a dark day, epitomizing the darkness that enveloped the world, symbolizing the darkness that has choked the world since humanity was exiled east of Eden. Good Friday was the hour of evil's triumph. On that day, Satan's reign tyrannized the Son of God, Israel's Messiah. The Passion narrative provides ample evidence of that tyranny, and unfortunately, it remains in our own day. When darkness reigns, good people fail to pray. Friends betray friends. Swords are drawn. Disciples deny their teacher. The innocent are convicted. The guilty are released. The law is subverted for interest of power and control. The righteous are mocked. Women weep over the loss of their children. Soldiers demean and torture others. The condemned insult each other. The blameless are executed. Luke's picture is shrouded in gloom from the garden to the cross. But his canvas also has rays of light a dawning sun also breaks into the darkness. Even as darkness reigns, Jesus reveals the light of the kingdom. Even when darkness reigns, the kingdom of God cannot be smothered and snuffed out. Instead, beautiful and profound colors appear. Though darkness reigns, kingdom people refuse to use the sword, even when threatened. Jesus said, no more of this. Though darkness reigns, kingdom people pursue the will of God despite the consequences. Jesus said, yet not my will, but yours be done. Though darkness reigns, kingdom people confidently anticipate with hope the fulfillment of the kingdom. Jesus said, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. Though darkness reigns, kingdom people weep for the brokenness of the world rather than over their own suffering for the sake of the kingdom. Jesus said, Do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. Though darkness reigns, kingdom people forgive their persecutors. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Though darkness reigns, kingdom people invite others into the kingdom. Jesus said, Today you will be with me in paradise. And though darkness reigns, kingdom people trust in God's work despite the reign of darkness. Jesus said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Kingdom people follow Jesus. They, like Simon from Cyrene, pick up the cross and follow Jesus. Kingdom people assault the powers of evil by submitting to the will of God and trusting in the promise of the coming kingdom. Kingdom people follow Jesus. Darkness reigned on Good Friday, but the kingdom of God also broke into that darkness. Even as darkness reigns in our day, as kingdom people, we are called to follow Jesus, and it may take us to a cross.